You might remember months ago when I made Most Reliable Cars Part 1, and I wanted to follow up on this because a lot of cars are out there in the world, and I thought I had to review a few more cars for the list for everyone to know about. And there are a few more to add to that list, in fairness, along with the Japanese usuals. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'm Carter Ben. Don't forget to subscribe. Starting off with the UK's favourite little Volkswagen, it is the Up, and the Volkswagen Up is one of the most reliable cars in the country because a lot of people obviously know it for being a small polo or golf, and it pretty much hones in on most of those parts, and only 6% of Volkswagen owners said that their car had gone wrong in previous years. It did very well in Euro NCAP, as you can see here, because there's not a lot of bonnet, let's be honest, so for it to do quite well there was an amazing astonishment, and it obviously uses parts from those previous cars in the Volkswagen Group, which makes it a very good car nonetheless. And only 75% of these situations that happened from pretty much brakes or engine went wrong. Now, it's obviously related to the Skoda and the Say It Me, but they are pretty much the same car. But I think Volkswagen does use its own parts. Here you can see one for about 3750 in no particular order at number two, we have the Volvo XC40. Now, I know you might remember this video, which I talked about the most unreliable cars, and the Volvo XC90 was on there. And I can't believe I'm saying this. It is genuinely one of the most unreliable cars you can buy. But the, the cousin, or the little brother, I guess, the XC40 is one of the most reliable cars you can buy no, to date. According to the surveys, it was a 96.3% rating, and it had only small problems which really, really minor, which could be fixed pretty much instantly. Now, according to the polls as well, most of the issues actually came from the diesel versions, so that could be mostly in the engine, but really there was nothing to really report from these cars. Excellent cars, and at a price of around £18,000 new, not too bad at all, because it's Swedish, it's going to last a very long time. Next up is Kia with the Super Mini Rio. It is the new Rio, which I don't really like the styling of very much, but it's still a really good car. Now, if you do get it in the sports spec, at least it looks somewhat decent. Now, not a lot of people seem to have warmed to these, let's say, and with the new rebadging of, and branding of Kia, I think it looks a lot better in that its current format in the 2022 version. But nonetheless, if you want, went for the 2018 version, it's a very reliable little car, and these cars are on like Auto Express on the surveys well known for their strong performance across pretty much any category reliability its performance its wearability its durability everything about it would just last a very long time and Kia is well known for doing that if you want one you can pick one up for around ten thousand pounds up next is the Hyundai Kona. Now, this is a car that I have done a video on before, but that was actually the electric version. Today, we're going to be talking about the petrol version. So, if you want to check the EV version of that on my channel, go and check that out now. But with the petrol versions, I wanted to shine a light on them because they are actually good cars and they have been around for a few years, but I don't think a lot of people really know that because, let's be honest, not a lot of people really bought one. Um, so, 2018 roughly is when they came out and they came with a 1 litre to 1.6 engine. But the good news here is it's very practical, it's very reliable and Hyundai Kona's strong reliability score of 95.7% helped it come first in 2021's drive power overall. So it owners pointed out that the build quality was just brilliant and there's just no major fault to speak of. Obviously it's a new car so it's hard to get that when it first comes out but prices are roughly £12,000 for these cars now and they're only a few years old. And finally the car that, even though in no particular order, is on this list, it is number one on the list of driver power, or to express all the surveys, it is the Skoda Kodiak from 2018 and 2022, and this car has done very well for itself. Let's be honest, it's a Skoda, so it's going to do well, but obviously there's more than that. This car is one of the most reliable cars you can buy on the market today, and especially the new one, and they do look quite good, and it's quite a competitive little, well, big SUV, given that it can now compete with sort of bigger German brands, not to name a few, and it's actually really good quality, you've got the cool sunroof, really cool cockpit, and the engines in Skoda's are always top tip, so with a car that has come first in its uh, Euro NCAP, as well as owners that were very impressed with its first few years, they're still very good, and they've held quite a good value. So here's a 2018 model for £23,000. But you can't put a, uh, that price on reliability or even the fact that it's safe. So there you go. The Skoda Kodiak is number one on this list. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I'm Cars with Ben, and I make weekly car content. If you do want to leave a subscribe for me, leave a like, please. It really helps me out, and it keeps all the car content fresh each week. I will see you all in the next one.